Whether you're approaching this milestone or you've already reached it, taking care of your body becomes increasingly crucial as we age. I'm here to guide you through this journey toward better health, so let's dive right in. We all know that food plays a pivotal role in our overall well-being. But did you know that our nutritional needs change as we get older? Our bodies undergo various physiological changes that require us to make mindful adjustments to our diet. By avoiding certain foods, we can support our bodies in staying strong, vibrant, and full of vitality. Now let's understand the changing nutritional needs and physiological changes that occur after 50. As we reach the age of 50 and beyond, our bodies go through a series of physiological changes. Our metabolism tends to slow down, which means we burn calories at a slightly lower rate. Our muscle mass may decrease, leading to a decline in strength and flexibility. Additionally, our bones may become less dense, making us more susceptible to fractures and osteoporosis. Hormonal changes such as menopause in women can also impact our nutritional needs. Given these physiological changes, it becomes increasingly important to adjust our dietary habits to support our overall health and well-being. Proper nutrition plays a crucial role in providing our bodies with the necessary nutrients to function optimally. By making mindful choices about what we eat, we can enhance our energy levels, support healthy aging, and reduce the risk of age-related diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. To meet our changing nutritional needs after 50, it's essential to prioritize nutrient-dense foods. Nutrient-dense foods are those that provide a high amount of essential nutrients relative to their calorie content. These foods include fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. They supply vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber, which are vital for maintaining optimal health. Let's talk about the foods and drinks to limit or avoid after 50. 1. Highly processed foods. Highly processed foods can have detrimental effects on our health, especially as we age. These foods are often loaded with refined carbohydrates, added sugars, unhealthy fats, artificial additives, and preservatives. Regular consumption of processed foods has been linked to an increased risk of obesity, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and other chronic conditions. They are typically low in essential nutrients and fiber while being high in calories, leading to poor satiety and potential overconsumption. Some examples of commonly consumed processed foods that should be avoided or limited include Sugary cereals and breakfast pastries Packaged snacks like chips, cookies, and candy Fast food and ready-to-eat meals Sugary beverages such as soda, sports drinks, and sweetened fruit juices Frozen dinners and processed meats like sausages and deli meats Margarine and other hydrogenated oils Instant noodles and flavored rice packets here are the suggestions for healthier alternatives. When it comes to replacing processed foods, there are numerous healthier alternatives available. Choose whole, unprocessed foods such as fresh fruits and vegetables, lean meats, fish, poultry, and eggs. Opt for whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread, and oats instead of refined grains. Snack on nuts, seeds, and natural yogurt instead of packaged snacks. Prepare homemade meals using fresh ingredients and minimize the use of pre-packaged sauces and seasonings. Hydrate with water, herbal tea, or freshly squeezed juices instead of sugary beverages. Swap margarine for natural sources of healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, and nut butter. Cook meals from scratch to have better control over the quality and content of ingredients. By making these small but significant changes, we can reduce our consumption of processed foods and increase our intake of nutrient-rich, whole foods. This shift not only nourishes our bodies with essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber but also supports our overall health and well-being as we age. Remember, it's about progress, not perfection, so take gradual steps towards a less processed and more wholesome diet. 2. Sugary and High Glycemic Index Foods High sugar intake has been strongly associated with an increased risk of chronic diseases, particularly as we age. Consuming excessive amounts of sugar can lead to weight gain, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. It can also contribute to inflammation in the body, which is linked to various health conditions such as arthritis, certain cancers, and cognitive decline. Additionally, a diet high in sugar can negatively impact oral health and increase the risk of tooth decay and gum disease. It's important to be aware of hidden sugars that can be found in many processed and packaged foods. These hidden sugars often go by different names, 
making them challenging to identify on ingredient lists. Common examples of hidden sugars include high fructose, corn syrup, sucrose, maltose, dextrose, and fruit juice concentrates. Additionally, some seemingly healthy foods like flavored yogurts, granola bars, cereals, and even condiments like ketchup can contain significant amounts of added sugars. Tips for reducing sugar consumption and incorporating low glycemic foods into the diet. Read food labels carefully and choose products with no or minimal added sugars. Opt for fresh, whole fruits instead of processed fruit juices or canned fruits in syrup. Choose whole grains like quinoa, brown rice, and whole wheat bread instead of refined grains. Include more fiber-rich foods such as vegetables, legumes, and nuts in your meals. Flavor foods with natural spices and herbs instead of relying on sugary sauces and dressings. Be mindful of sweetened beverages and opt for water, herbal tea, or unsweetened alternatives. Gradually reduce the amount of sugar added to beverages, baked goods, and recipes. Experiment with healthier sweeteners like stevia, monk fruit, or small amounts of natural honey or maple syrup as alternatives. Focus on balanced meals that combine carbohydrates, proteins, and healthy fats to help stabilize blood sugar levels. By reducing our sugar consumption and incorporating low glycemic foods into our diet, we can better manage blood sugar levels, promote weight management, and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Remember, small changes in our eating habits can make a significant difference in our long-term health and well-being. 3. Trans fats and saturated fats. Trans fats and saturated fats are types of dietary fats that can have detrimental effects on our health, especially when consumed in excess. Trans fats are artificially created fats through a process called hydrogenation. They are commonly found in processed and fried foods, baked goods, margarine, and some fast foods. Trans fats raise levels of bad LDL cholesterol while lowering levels of good HDL cholesterol. This imbalance increases the risk of heart disease, stroke, and inflammation in the body. Saturated fats are naturally occurring fats found in animal products such as fatty meats, whole milk dairy products, butter, and cheese. They are also present in some plant-based oils like coconut oil and palm oil. Consuming high amounts of saturated fats can raise LDL cholesterol levels, contributing to the development of heart disease and increasing the risk of certain cancers. Common sources of trans fats include deep-fried foods, french fries, fried chicken, commercially baked goods, pastries, cookies, cakes, processed snacks, crackers, chips, microwave popcorn, stick margarine and vegetable shortening. Common sources of saturated fats include fatty cuts of meat, beef, pork, lamb, processed meats, sausages, hot dogs, bacon, full-fat dairy products, whole milk, cheese, cream, butter and lard, coconut oil and palm oil. 4. Sodium and high salt foods. Excessive sodium intake can have a significant impact on our blood pressure and cardiovascular health, particularly as we age. Consuming too much sodium can cause water retention, leading to increased blood volume and elevated blood pressure. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is a major risk factor for heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. It's important to manage our sodium intake to maintain healthy blood pressure levels and reduce the risk of these conditions. Many processed and packaged foods contain high amounts of sodium. Some common sources of sodium include processed meats, sausages, bacon, deli meats, canned soups and broths, condiments, soy sauce, ketchup, salad dressings, snack foods, chips, pretzels, salted nuts, frozen meals and pizzas, fast food and takeout meals, some cheeses and pickled foods. 5. Oxalate-rich foods. Oxalates are naturally occurring compounds found in many plant-based foods. When consumed in high amounts, oxalates can contribute to the formation of kidney stones. Kidney stones are solid crystalline masses that form in the kidneys or urinary tract. Oxalates bind with calcium in the urine, leading to the development of calcium oxalate stones, which are the most common type of kidney stones. Individuals who are prone to kidney stones or have a history of calcium oxalate stones may benefit from reducing their intake of high oxalate foods. Some examples of high oxalate foods that are recommended to limit or avoid include spinach, Swiss chard, beet greens, rhubarb, soy products, tofu, soy milk, nuts and nut butter, almonds, peanuts, cashews, seeds, sesame seeds, poppy seeds, tea, black tea, green tea, and chocolate. 
It's important to note that not all individuals are equally sensitive to oxalates, and some may be able to tolerate higher levels without experiencing issues. If you have a history of kidney stones or are concerned about your oxalate intake, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian for personalized guidance. 6. High Cholesterol Foods Cholesterol is a fatty substance that is naturally produced by the body and is also found in certain foods. While our bodies need some cholesterol to function properly, consuming excessive amounts of cholesterol can contribute to the development of heart disease. High levels of cholesterol in the blood can lead to the formation of plaques in the arteries, narrowing them and increasing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Therefore, it's important to be mindful of our cholesterol intake and make heart-healthy food choices. Some examples of high cholesterol foods that are recommended to limit or avoid include Organ meats, liver, kidney, brain, shellfish, shrimp, lobster, crab, high-fat dairy products, full-fat milk, cheese, butter, processed meats, sausages, bacon, hot dogs, egg yolks, fried and fatty foods. To reduce cholesterol intake, it's beneficial to replace high cholesterol foods with healthier alternatives. Consider the following options. Lean protein sources like skinless poultry, fish, legumes, and tofu. Low-fat or fat-free dairy products such as skim milk, low-fat yogurt, and reduced-fat cheese. Egg whites or cholesterol-free egg substitutes. Whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and nuts as part of a balanced diet. In conclusion, understanding the changing nutritional needs after the age of 50 is essential for maintaining optimal health and well-being. By adjusting our dietary habits and making informed choices, we can support our bodies in the best way possible. Remember, it's never too late to make positive changes in our diet and lifestyle. It's crucial to consult with healthcare professionals or registered dietitians for personalized advice based on your specific needs and health conditions. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content.